Chapter 31 The Lord also said to Moses, Look, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, intelligence, and skill in all kinds of crafts. He is able to create beautiful objects from gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in cutting and setting gemstones, and in carving wood. Yes, he is a master at every craft. And I have appointed Aholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, to be his assistant. Moreover, I have given special skill to all the naturally talented craftsmen, so they can make all the things I have instructed you to make. The tabernacle itself, the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark's cover, the place of atonement, all the furnishings of the tabernacle, the table and all its utensils, the gold lampstand with all its accessories, the incense altar, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, the wash basin and its pedestal, the beautifully stitched holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments for his sons to wear as they minister as priests, the anointing oil, and the special incense for the holy place. They must follow exactly all the instructions I have given you. The Lord gave these further instructions to Moses. Tell the people of Israel to keep my Sabbath day, for the Sabbath is a sign of the covenant between me and you forever. It helps you to remember that I am the Lord who makes you holy. Yes, keep the Sabbath day, for it is holy. Anyone who desecrates it must die. Anyone who works on that day will be cut off from the community. Work six days only, but the seventh day must be a day of total rest. I repeat, because the Lord considers it a holy day, anyone who works on the Sabbath must be put to death. The people of Israel must keep the Sabbath day forever. It is a permanent sign of my covenant with them. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, but he rested on the seventh day and was refreshed. Then as the Lord finished speaking with Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant written by the finger of God.